How do these YouTubers have so amazing aim? How do these streamers hit all those headshots? How can they land all of their shots? Well, it's mostly experience and practice, a little bit of talent as well, but if you want to get similar results in Hunt Showdown, then this video is right for you and it's gonna help you greatly in that aspect. So follow along and welcome. Welcome! For those who are here for the first time, I'm Nadril, and I stream five days a week on Twitch. For those of you who just came back to the channel, welcome back! By the way, you can find the links to my Twitch channel and to my socials in the description down below. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about something really important in Hunt Showdown, and that is aiming and hitting our shots consistently. I'm going to share the method that I used and I'm going to also provide you with a method to track your progress and see how well you're doing. It is my belief that in Hunt Showdown, if you get used to hitting your shots and getting headshots with weak weapons with slow bullets, then when you transition to stronger weapons, highest speed uh, bullets, you will be able to click heads very easily. At least that's what worked really good for me. So. That is what we're gonna do. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope this method really helps you. So bear with me and let's get into it, guys. As always, another small disclaimer. This video is for people who want to get better at aiming and are kind of beginners at the game. So it is not aimed at pro veterans or people that have like 2,000, 3,000 hours in the game. It is meant to help people that have been struggling with aim and that want to learn how to practice and get better with their aim. That being said, I have a couple more things to tell you before we get into the actual video. One is the damage on the zombies, because some of you might be wondering, yes, Nadrill, we will be shooting zombies, but what about the difference between zombies and hunters? And I know what you mean, because some weapons kill zombies with one chest shot, with, which doesn't happen in, with hunters unless they are missing health or they are shot with a shotgun or a nitro. Anyways, like most full health hunters will not die with a Caldwell conversion shot to the chest, whereas zombies might die. That's the only real difference. Other than that, the distance on which the zombies die to headshots is exactly the same with the various ammo. So with the Winfield, you will have a damage drop off. So you will not headshot any zombie at like, let's say a hundred meters because it is the same as the hunters. You will not one shot kill a hunter at a hundred meters with the Winfield. So it is also really important to learn the effective distances of your guns. Now, another thing is the mouse sensitivity. One of the most important things actually about aiming. Now, I will not go into much detail, but you should know that Hunt is a game where you want to have both your mouse DPI, your mouse sensitivity, low, and your in-game sensitivity low. Now, uh, my mouse is set to 900 DPI, and my in-game settings are as follows default aim default view well not in aim side is 0.65 shoulder aim like hip fire 0.65 aim down side 0 0.60 0 0.50 for the dead eye scope for the marksman scope is 0 0.45 for sniper is 0 0.30 for aperture 0 0.40 now the reason why for the various scopes i reduce it even more is because the further you are zoomed in, more, the more precise movements you will need to do. So lower sensitivity helps with that. I hope that helps you too. All right, let's talk about the weapons that we're going to be using. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are two stats of importance when you want to practice aiming, and that is muzzle velocity and handling. I try to have 
either both of them low for this method or just one of them. So the purpose behind this is that we learn how to aim with worse weapons so when we transition to the better variants or the full size ones our job will be easier and trust me it's how this works in this game and it will help you out a lot now let's get over the variants themselves the pistols that we're going to use are the silence nagant the nagant officer the caldwell chain pistol the pax and the uppercut. These are all the pistols that we're going to be using in this video. Now, the medium-sized weapons are the Winfield Vandal, the Nagant Precision, and the Mosin Obrez Drum. This one has a high muzzle velocity, but it sways like a... Mm. So, we're going to be using it. The full-sized weapons are going to be the Winfield Silencers, the Spark Silencer, and the Martini Henry Repulsed. And that's about it. Now, the method we're gonna practice with, we're gonna divide it into four parts, and those are body shots, headshots, moving body shots, and moving headshots. Meaning, for the simple body shots, you just need to practice shooting at a zombie in its torso. If you happen to get a headshot, that's great, you're not disqualified, let's say, but we're just trying to get as many body shots as we can. For the headshots, is exactly the same. We're trying to hit the zombie at the head. For the moving body shots, we're trying to be moving ourselves and hit our target. And for the moving headshots, it's exactly the same. We're trying to get headshots while we are constantly moving. So how the actual practice or training will take place? Okay, let's say we're practicing body shots. We're going to be doing them for 50 shots and we're going to divide the 50 shots into 10 shot sets. When you find that you consistently hit 6 or more of your shots and your average after you finish the 50 is 30 or more, you can move to the next part. So if you do 32 out of 50 when you're practicing body shots, you can move to the headshots. When you find that you have done 30 or more out of 50 for headshots, you can move to the moving body shots, etc. Now of course, if you manage to do 30 or more headshots, it doesn't mean that you're a headshot master all of a sudden but it gives you a feeling of progression and you need to be doing all of the training again and again if you really want to improve your aim when you will be at a level that you think you mastered all of these weapons and you consistently get high scores in your training then you can start if you want practicing with high velocity weapons like the mosin or the label or the normal sparks or whatever it's all up to you and if you use this method for the more advanced weapons you will have very good results as well now i think it's enough talking for now let's get into the actual method shall we so now we're in the actual training mode and we're gonna enter the compound and find some zombies to shoot. As I said, we're starting with the Nagant silencer and we're starting with body shots. I recommend that you go into the hard difficulty so that you have a bigger amount of enemies to practice with. But if you want to just go on the easy one, it's okay as well. Let's start the training. One. Two. Two out of Shen shots. Let's find another zombie to shoot. Three. Four. Oops, I missed. Five. Six. Let's find more zombies to shoot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have three, four gentlemen here to shoot. Let's go. Miss. So, we had eight out of ten for our first set. You can think about it as gym sets, you know? 
Uh, imagine that you're doing deadlifts, for example. I don't know. So let's start over. One, miss. Two. Three. Four. Oopsie daisy. It will also help you very much if you practice shooting at different distances. And especially when you are moving and shooting. Because with this low muzzle velocity, you will see that your shot will greatly vary. And it will not be the same as when you're stationary. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So again, we had either seven or eight out of ten. You catch the meaning, you know? Alrighty, let's go in there and practice some headshots. Remember, stand still, take your time with aiming if you need to take your time, and just try to hit the head of the zombie. There's an annoying lady right here behind me, so let's try to kill her. You can also keep track of your shots so that you can keep your score with the amount of bullets that you have spent. I'm currently using two Nagalan silencer pistols so I can have more ammo. So when, when this clip is over, I will have spent 7 out of 10 of my shots. So if I go and spend 3 more out of my other gun, I have, will have done all my 10 shots. Now if you reload, you need to keep track. If you have one weapon and you reload, you need to keep track accordingly, you know? So we've spent 1 out of 10 and it was a headshot. Let's find more zombies. Stand still. Try to aim for the head. That was a miss. 2 out of 3... Three out of four. We're missing four bullets. We got three headshots. Let's proceed. All right, here we go. Okay. We had four headshots out of five. Let me take care of this annoying lady. Five headshots out of seven. Or is it six? I think it's six. Now five out of seven. Now we have... No, it's six out of seven. My math is amazing. I really hope you don't have the same results as me with your math. Okay, got seven out of eight. Okay, these are some far away targets. As I said, it's very important that you try to hit at various distances. Okay. Miss. Hit. So, eight out of ten headshots. Okay, what do you say we start the moving body shots training? So, in this training, you just move around and try to hit your shots simultaneously. This will be a very hard, especially if you are newer to the game, but just give it time and just try to hit as, much, as many shots as you can and just repeat it over and over again. Don't get disappointed. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, let's switch, eight, nine, ten, let's go over again, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go for some moving headshots. This is going to be the hardest part of your training. 
Don't get disappointed. Keep on trying and you will be better. Trust me. Let's start. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see, I even miss a fuck ton of times. Let's start again. Reload all our guns. Let's go. Moving headshots. One. Two. Three. Four. Yes. Five. Six. Just try to add as much variation as you can to your movements. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We did better. As I said, this is the hardest part of the training and this weapon with a low muzzle velocity doesn't help at all. But these are the kind of guns that will improve your aim. I highly suggest spending time with the Nagant silencer. Alright, let's move to another weapon. Now, starting our training with the Nagant officer. This gun has a bigger muzzle velocity, but has less handling than the Nagant silence. So, let's see how this goes. Body shots. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, eight, nine, ten, nine out of ten, pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. Let's move to headshot farming. <laughs> we found a good amount of zombies here, so let's try some headshots. One. Two. Yes. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Ah. Uh, Eight. Ten. See how much I miss? There's usually some over here. Yay! Let's do it! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That was a headshot, but out of range, the first one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God, ten. Let's move to another weapon, perhaps. Let's do some moving body shots with a chain pistol. Where are you, little zombo? One, two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's practice moving headshots immediately. Eight. 
Nine. Ten. You catch the meaning, I think, by now. Alright, we're getting into some better guns that handle a little bit better and have a little bit faster bullet. So let's immediately do headshots with the packs. Ah, oh, there's some zombies there. Shut up, horse. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. What? Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, these two were easy. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh. Seven. Eight. Nine. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Now, what do you say we play a little bit of uppercut, a fun favorite? We're only gonna go for headshots and moving headshots with this, alright? Let's do it. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's go into the other compound. And do some moving headshots. Moving headshot time! Let's go! Two. Three. Four. Five. Be good. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Pretty, pretty good. Let's move on. Right, now this might actually surprise you, but the Nagant Precision is one of the best guns that we're gonna practice with. Because its sway, its handling is amazing and you can easily click heads with it. So let's do exactly that. Let's practice some headshots. One. Two. As I said, take your time and aim. There's no one rushing you. You just want to be hitting your shots. Alright? Four. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're starting with a Winfield Vandal. This used to be amazing, but then they added some more sway to it, and now it's pretty hard to aim with. So let's go for some body shots, and then for some moving headshots. Wake up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight.
Nine. Ten. Pretty good. Moving headshot time. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's pretty rough. Ten. All right, going in with the Obrist drum. This has a pretty high muzzle velocity. It is 550 meters per second, but it weighs a lot. So let's try some moving body shots and moving headshots. One. As I said, it sways a damn lot. You can wallbang pretty good with this as well. A zombie. Body shot. Body shot. What do you say we start with some large weapons? Hmm. Let's go with a Winfield silencer. Let's do headshots and moving body shots. Let's try this one. Noise. This has to be one of the worst iron sights in the game. This one and the nitro. Okay, Sparks Silencer. One of the slowest bullets with long ammo. Actually, it might be the slowest. Um, let's do some headshots and some moving headshots with it, shall we? Yeah, let's go. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now, regarding the muzzle velocity, you will find that in many cases, when the enemy is moving, you will need to adjust your aim, you will need to lead your shots. So if the enemy is running that way, you will need to aim forward, uh, etc. That, you will need to learn it by experience. There is no way that I can show you how to practice this. At least I don't know of any way. Hey. Just practice, just practice headshots. Now let's move to moving headshots, okay? All right, and for the last gun, for the, our training, for our method, 
Martini Henry Repulsed. I chose the Repulsed because it has lower handling than the normal weapon. And uh, I chose the Martini because the Martini has a small muzzle velocity. So it's a slow gun, being a long ammo choice. We're gonna do some um, headshots and some moving body shots, okay? Let's go. Headshot. Well, I wasn't sitting still. This gun is pretty accurate and it has a pretty decent um, iron sight, so you can pretty you can aim pretty good with a martini. The only problem is the low muzzle velocity, but it has a way faster reload speed than the Sparks, as you will find. The iron sight on it is great, though. It is a pretty great iron sight, I have to say. Okay. Okay, let's do a long one. Let's do a long one. Oh my god! So another long one. Moving body shots time! Let's go! good they're hunting us as well you see when you jump you will almost always miss your shot almost always I feel it's more than 90% of the time if you shoot while jumping Let's do some body shots on this motherfucker. Oh lord, whatever shall we do? Get out! And that's about it. What do you say we wrap it up? So that was about it. Thank you for watching. I really hope this video proves helpful. And I see some comments telling me that Nadril, you killed so many people because our aim has been improved. If you have any other method that you practice your aim with, share it also in the comment section below. If you have any feedback for the videos, I will gladly read it and comment on it. Also, if you like the video, click a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, maybe even click on the notification bell. That way you will know immediately when a new video comes out. All the support is greatly appreciated. Until the next video, guys. Happy hunting and don't forget to improve your aim.